this uh, program that uh, which uh, i have given you to practice at your home yes yeah, sir uh, the date uh, separating the date hmm are you getting that one uh actually no because uh, date is uh, separated by uh, dots and all na mm -hmm. so i had doubt fine uh what so chetan has already created one program uh, chetan uh, what is the program okay. name same look at uh, in your screen maybe some spelling is going wrong which server ehp4 ec4 right no 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 Hmm. What is the spelling? Hmm. 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 Zero zero six. The same thing. I am also opening. C H E T H E N. Wait. Yep. Now you can see uh, the program here. Yeah. So he has uh, declared three variables, and this <coughs> is the parameter p type d. Okay. Yeah. So now, uh, say for example, when you execute here, you will enter a date. Say I will enter here ten dot some twelve dot two zero one zero some tenth December two thousand ten. Yeah. That means. Yeah. These are the separators, right? For date, these are the separators. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And this is yeah. called this is called the external format of the date, which will enter by dots. We can also enter like this. Say for example, some yeah. some you some user will set the settings like this. Okay. Yeah. And some user yeah. can setting uh, they they can set they can separate with hyphens. Okay. Yeah. So there are different yeah. formats which can be available for date. Maybe Chetan can set his own settings. Maybe Vinod can set his own settings, and uh, uh, like every user can set. it's on their own settings for date okay if you want yes, to set yes, your sir. if you want to set your own settings for date yeah uh that will be uh, whenever you um, you you have already given with the user id right yeah each one has your own user id while creating the user id they will set that date format i will show you the date format how they will set Right now, I'm using user ID SAP zero fifty one. So see, this is the user SAP zero fifty one. So while creating the user, they will set here the date date format is dd dot yeah. mm dot yyy. They can also set these yeah. formats. They can also may set this. Okay, whenever they set this, okay. uh, that means whenever you uh, you are uh, a basis guy will create user ID right. When if he set this format or this format. Accordingly, you need to type the date in the parameter. Getting okay, it? Sir. So in SC thirty-eight, if I give a date, simply see, I I don't give any separator. I'll give zero one twelve two zero one zero and press enter. It will automatically adjust as per your user setting. In your user yes, setting, if in your user setting, if it is separated by slash, for example. If you give 
this thing and press enter it will automatically separate separated by slash okay slash so yeah in your if your user settings has separated by slash format then it it also automatically get separated by slash okay fine this is called external format of the date okay so okay. please please remember user setting is a external format of the date okay sir okay whenever the date is okay. going inside the program that means see when i execute what will happen the date will go inside right that means this content will go inside yeah, yeah. so yeah. whenever this program whenever the date whatever the input which you have given if it is it is going inside the external format will be converted into internal format okay so the okay. internal for internal format of the date will be always y y y y y four y's mm dd without any separators so this is called a internal format of the date either chetan may set with a uh, external format chetan may set with a slashes external format somebody else with a, somebody else can set with the hyphens or something whatever the user external format okay. settings user settings whenever the date coming inside so it will be automatically come like this y y y y m m d d okay so now what he is doing so now p has year to 2010 maybe month 10 and date 12 so among this the first four characters he is taking into variable 1 p of 4 p of 4 means okay. first four characters of this uh, date after that month okay. going, we want month how to get the month 1 2 3 4 move four places <coughs> that is that is plus 4 and capture the next yeah. two next two digits that is 2 so month will come into the variable 2 and i want the date how many places i need to move 1 2 3 4 5 6 <coughs> and capture the next two places yeah. that is date yeah. okay so this is how you okay. can achieve uh, the date month and year day month and year so now i'll i'll But, uh, i have one doubt yep i have one doubt sir yeah yeah uh, there is no space for uh, separators there is no space for separator where while giving the input uh, there is uh, yeah 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 He, here No, no, no. Ah. Uh -huh. uh, while storing, it is uh, separating with the uh, dots, no. Ah, uh, yeah. But here there is no uh, separators, nothing. It will, it will store okay. in just, just this, this format. Y, 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 m, m, d, d. Okay. Okay, sir. So now, now I will give you a small introduction of debugger. Debugger means okay. how the program will execute. See, right now what we are doing, we are giving the input. we are executing we are seeing yeah. the output so yeah in between these two steps that means after giving the input and before displaying the output how the cursor will go how it will take so that i am going to show you now so this is called a debugger okay so to switch on the debugger give slash /h slash /h is the command to switch on the debugger okay sir press enter if you observe your status bar status bar is saying debugging switched on switched on yeah if you scroll down you can see this message uh fine scroll down okay so debugging is switched on yeah then go up and again execute your program normally i'm executing the program so now it won't display the output this is the screen which it is going to see before displaying the output it's going to your code okay so it's it's coming okay. here what is there in p p p underscore date you have given some date that date will be converted now see if you observe p here i'll give p to see here the value of p whatever is there see what is there in this year uh, 2010 12 yeah 12 is a month d these two digits are date 
it's automatically converted into internal format but external format what we have given 01.12.2010 that's what we have given in the input so now this is converted so from this first four digits what are the first four digits of this 2010 so right now in variable one nothing is there after this step 2010 will come here in variable one okay and now cursor is here say observe this line in this line variable two nothing was there right now after this step 12 will come into that okay similarly variable three right now nothing is there okay after this step mm -hmm. date will come okay so after <laughs> that we are writing those so like that you can okay, sir you can. Uh, Yep. Uh, we are giving a uh, day, month, uh, year and now. Yeah. Uh, how come that uh, year will store in the variable one? This is our input. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So slash h. I'm going for debugging mode. Okay. So I'm giving here p. What will be there in this? 2010 1201, right? Uh, that's what I am asking. Uh, how this is storing like this? We are giving yeah. 0, 1, uh, 12, mm. uh, 0, 1, 12, 2010, no? Yeah, that is what, uh, that is what I have told. Actually, whatever you are giving as an input, that is called external format, which can be separated okay. with the dots, which can be separated with the hyphens, which can be separated also with the slashes or something. That is called yeah, external yeah. format. Okay. Whenever you execute okay. the program, the program will see the date as an internal format. This is a different format. Okay. So this SAP automatically take care. You don't need to do anything. <coughs> okay. Okay. So no, no, to do the program, hmm. to do the program. Hmm. Uh, if you know the uh, storing formality only, we can put uh, var one equal to p of four, na. No? How come now the date is coming like this, right? Now there yeah. is no separator here. There is yeah. no separator here. Okay, if you observe P, there is no separator. So put first yeah. four first four digits into variable one. Yeah, yeah. I'm asking that. Uh, how come this uh, here is coming uh, first? Here SAP will take care. We don't need to write any logic for this. Okay, if you put some external format, date will be automatically converted into internal format. For this, there will be okay. something called conversion routine. We will see the conversion routine later. Okay. okay so date, whatever you give the external format. Now SAP, what it was doing? It was yeah. automatically converting into internal format. Internal format is YYYY MM ED. MM ED. It is always internal format will be like this only. The same only. Same format. It, will, it won't change. Okay. Okay. <coughs> okay. So okay. from this, from this, you can take the first four digits or two, two digits or last two digits like this. Okay. 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 Uh, yeah. And Javes, what, tell me. Okay. Fine. So we'll go to the next one. Hmm, fine. So in the last class, uh, we were discussing about this program. Classes. So, yeah. So here, what we'll call this as structure. What is yeah. ABC? ABC is the structure name. Yes, sir. Structure name. Structure name is the ABC. And see, if you observe types, with the types keyword, we will declare a structure. So this is the beginning of the structure and this is the ending of the structure. Structure has some uh, structure can have any number of fields. R right now, here we are using yeah. uh, three fields. <laughs> so name, name, age, salary. Which one? Yeah, name, age, salary. We are using three fields. Now I'm I'm declaring one variable. Variable name is W A. Type. Working area. Yeah, type structure area. Structure. Okay. A B C is the structure. So this is called work area. Okay. So in general, a variable which is taking 
reference of the structure is called a work area now how to fill the work area so you you can fill the work area like this work area hyphen name is equal to something and age also you can give something whatever you 23 whatever you have given that will go in and store in work area age whatever 20000 you are giving that will go and store in work area salary after that we are writing the work area content okay so is this uh, yeah. is, this program is clear for you right fine yes sir now what i want to do is i i i will slowly go towards the data dictionary with this okay now uh, we will go to the data dictionary we will create some table in data dictionary and then again we will come back to the programming so to go for the data dictionary the transaction is se11 see 11 se11 is a transaction to enter into the data dictionary yeah please make a note data dictionary is the central repository data dictionary is a central repository <coughs> to create objects and to store the data advantage of data dictionary is so in interviews somebody will ask you what is the advantage of data dictionary the advantages of data dictionary is reusability reusability you you can also write once a object is developed in data dictionary once an object is developed in data dictionary that can be used in any program that can be used in any program throughout the throughout the sap fine so now please uh, look it into the screen uh, so this is called a data dictionary <coughs> where where we will try to create some objects so these objects once you create the object that object can be usable inside your programs so now uh, there are different objects which were available in data dictionary the first one is a database table a views data types type groups domains itself and block objects we will discuss one after the other we will try to create each object and we will also uh, i will also tell you how to use this objects in your programs okay now the first thing is database table now how to create a table and what is a table please please make a note a table is a set of a table is a set of table structure and table data otherwise you can also say a table is a combination of table structure and table data <coughs> okay table structure table structure consists the field names table data will store the business the business data table data will store the business data 
like <coughs> ma- like master data or transactional data like master data or transactional data fine now uh, again uh, let's have a look on the screen say for example in sap what will happen uh, sap is generally an erp which integrates several modules this uh, we are see we have already learned yeah say one mm consultant is there he want to create a material if he want to create a material he will go to the transaction mm01 this is the transaction to create a material okay this is not required for us this is uh, for mm consultant but if you know that is good that is uh, another thing mm01 is a transaction yeah. uh, which which mm consultant will go and he will try to create a material so once uh, he if he want to create a material he need to fill up the these details what is the material number what is the industry sector what is the material type all these things he need to fill he will press enter say for example i will fill the material number test 00112 something industry sector chemical industry for example and i will say finished product or i'll say some drinks the material type is a press enter so it's giving some another screen right so where i need to give i need to yeah. select i need to do some user interaction here some two views i am selecting i'll press enter and here it is asking me some other details tell me what is the material description yeah. in which units you will measure and so on and so forth every time every screen i need to enter some information like this okay all these informations yeah. all these information will go and store in a table okay for okay. example i will i will say uh, say i'll give here some test is a description unit is kgs i'll save this material i don't give anything i have saved so if you observe the status bar what it was saying come down material test uh, created material test and score 00112 is created okay whenever you yeah. create a material yeah. this material will go and store in a table so <coughs> i'll go to the sc11 and table name is mara 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 is a table which stores the material just now we have created a material right that material should be yeah. there that material should be there in this yeah. table mara yeah so yeah. i'll i'll say i'll i'll go here click on display okay see this mara has different 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 fields so if you observe this these are all the fields so okay. ma ma ndt is a field ma tnr is a field ersd is a field arnm is a field and so on there are if you scroll down if i can scroll down there are so many fields which are available in mara table okay so this is called a table structure table structure means it's a template kind of thing which is having different different fields okay <coughs> and now see observe the icon here there is one icon so this icon is for the contents that means table data okay. if you want to see the table data click here and say execute here if you execute here there are so many materials huge number of materials are available among which 200 materials are coming okay so okay. now we have created what what material test underscore 001122 uh, right only two yes. fine so we have created this material to execute <coughs> now see this material was stored in mara table you are getting yes sir if you don't give anything here it will list you all the materials yeah but if you if you mention here a specific material like this then data will come only for the particular material yes sir getting it say for example yeah. i will i will say some 1122 if this material is not there not yet created then this data will not be there if you observe the status bar it is saying no table entries found for the, the specific key. because because this material is not created <laughs> yet okay so this was not there so whatever the materials you have created for those materials you will be having data in mara table remember similarly yes sir 
so this is a material so here see if you observe what are the details in which date you have created okay what is the username my username is sap051 okay and what is the material type see we have chosen the chemical industry right we have chosen the drinks so for all these there are different different sim, uh, conversions are there all those are and units we have given kgs right Yes. So all those things are stored in the table. Fine. And I want to also show you one more table. M A K T. See, these are the fields available in M A K T. Only five fields: material number, long ways, material text, and this is the material text in capital letters. Okay. So now. We have already given one material. What is the text we have given? You remember? Only test. Test we have given, right? So while creating the material, yes, when sir. we entered here, so here we have given some test, right? Previously. So yes, the same thing will be stored in this table. <coughs> Okay, no, no. so material description, whatever you give, that will come and store in this table. And which language? English language. English. Yeah. Say for example, if you log into EHP server through German language and create a material, if you log in here with the same user ID, same password, but here you log in with a German language, DE. Okay. And then create a material. Okay. and then create a material and then give some description then your table automatic automatically stores here with a d e won't come here at the yeah. time d will come okay so you are you are uh, getting okay. what uh, so see the thing is in sap everything will be done via transactions not only material if yeah. you can take a sales order yeah. you can take a purchase order you can take a quotation everything will be done via transaction whenever you are doing something via transaction it has a relationship with some or other tables okay so if you do something in mm01 transaction you are able to see the same details in mara table and mkt table similarly if you are doing something in a purchase order you can see into the ekko table ekpo table there are different different tables are there for different different transactions sap is already defined that yeah. okay so now okay today we will see how to create a small table our own table not sap table see these are the makt mara mara these are the sap tables so now okay. today today we'll see how to create our own table so if you observe this table mara table or makt table table has different fields yeah i'll come to that point okay so these are the different different fields and this field is simply a name and if you observe each field has a data element what is the data element see if you observe matnr is a field name sprs is another field name in the same table makdx is another field name like that there are five fields available okay yeah yeah similarly now each field if you observe if you observe this m and d field see the heading here is data element for this field m and d field m and d is the data element for matnr field matnr is the data element like that each and every field has its own data element okay please make a note data element otherwise you can you can also say um every field in a table will take the reference of data element every field in a table will, will take the reference of data element in the next line you can write data element in turn take the reference of domain data element in turn take the reference of domain
data element in term take, take the, the reference of domain d o m a i n domain yeah so now there are two new words to you here <coughs> data element and domain what this will do so data element and domain are helpful to to de define a particular field data type and length do you know what is a data type data type how many data types we have some around 8 to 9 data types right character integer numeric yeah. uh, integer. so on yeah okay say for example i i'm saying a material number then you will again ask me what is the data type of the material and what is the length right how many digits the material yeah. number maximum digits you tell me and what is the uh, yeah. data type of this see for example if you observe this it is car car means character and it is having a length of 18 so material 18. number material number is of character mm. and length is 18 similarly 18. there are there are different different data types say for example if you take this pras the data type is language and length is only one okay so similarly if you yeah. take this m and it is data type is clnt and length is 3 there are different data types are available so these types of different than your program data types which we have declared we, which we have already discussed right we have already discussed some seven or eight data types type c type i type n we have uh, we have already discussed right so these data types are little different when compared to do those data types so now i will try to create one small table so here i will say z mm test underscore student i want to create a table which store the student details click on create give the suitable description any description you can give here something called delivery class if you observe <laughs> so there are seven types of delivery classes are available mm -hmm. so first one is application table master data customizing table table for storing temporary data and all so we will select this first one application table to store master and transactional data So in the in our next classes, I will I will tell you what is a master data, what is a customizing table, etc. etc. So right now you go for uh, delivery class A, and here the next option data browser <coughs> table view maintenance. Select this drop down and go for display maintenance allowed. Check this. So these are the two settings which you need to do in a first screen. click on the fields now you need to decide what are all the fields you should give in the table so by default give mandt is one of the field by this is the default field which you can give in your table and data element also you can give mandt this is the first field in in all the tables in most of the tables this is the first field so i will also tell you what is the importance of this table but before that we will create a table okay so let me create a table and after that i will tell you what is this mandt so now student data i want to store so now tell me what what uh, data we will store student uh, id student name student age okay this kind yes. of details so now you need to mention you need to prioritize the fields what is the uniqueness of a student for example i have i have a class where 100 students are there how can i identify okay. the student uniquely by id student id because two students in the same class can have a same name same as maybe same father also maybe some most of the details can be same but student id is the only one which can distinguish the student from other student right so give yeah. here 
stu id or something you give the student id so first place the field which will distinguish which will determine student uniquely in the class fine then yeah. you come for the data element data element i'll say z test underscore st stu id okay your mm. data element na name should start with z <coughs> okay this is a standard sap data element so that's why it is not starting with a z or y but this is the data element which you are going to create it now this is not there yeah you are going to create it now so it should start with z okay now now what do you need to do double click on this data element double click on the data element so it is saying the table was changed so i save the table click on yes yes so where to save whether in a folder that means package or in a local object right now i am going for a local object so it is saying data element is not available shall i create yes yeah so this is called a data element screen so previously we are in the okay. we are in the table screen and now we came into the data element screen so this is a data element data screen. screen so now give here some description <coughs> student id gone sorry student id you give it and come to the field label here there is there is something called field label in the field label also you provide student id four times one is a short text medium text long text and heading you provide all this come to the data type see here something called domain domain okay domain okay. can have can have the same name as that of the data element so i'll okay. give the same name here also you can give different name also but that should start with the okay. domain and data okay. element can be having different different names but always should start with z or y so double click on the domain okay. save say yes now short description you can give domain for student id now tell me what is the data type what data type shall i give it to give to the integer um uh, integer shall i give a numeric or integer or character numeric okay yeah numeric numeric yeah so i will select this numc okay. number whenever you are giving a numeric you need to specify the number of characters so student id maximum how much length it will be 10 okay i'll take 10, 10. yeah save this the See previously we are in the data element screen. Now we are in domain screen. If you observe here, domain is there. Okay, save it, check it, check the domain, activate the domain. So your domain is active. If you observe here, active is written. Come back. So when you click on back, which screen you will come? Data element. Because from table we came to data element. from data element we came to domain right so from domain whenever i am clicking back i'll go to the data element screen i'll save it check it activate so my data element is active i'll click on back so which screen i'll go table so my my first field is ready so with the numeric 10 student id so now second field second field is stu uh, any ami student name so i will say z test underscore stu any ami i'll double click here <coughs> say yes <coughs> yes so this is student name go to the field label give student name everywhere if student name is not sufficient here 
just only give name go to the data type give the same name of the data element but you can give remember you can give a different name also not a problem double click now now you are going to the domain screen domain you give the description any description you can give data type student name will be numerics or characters character okay so select this character and length some 30 maximum 30 characters save this domain check this activate come back save check activate come back your second field also ready so now anybody can come and create the third field student is come right Z student, Z Z student. Z or Y? Two H. Something. Data type integer. So we know you are getting it right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Integer. Integer. Student is what we can take. Nu numeric we can take. Don't take integer. Okay. Integer means it is something like a salary, which should require some separator. Okay. Okay. Seven C. These will go for integers. Uh, okay. Telephone numbers, age, student ID, all these things are without any separator, commas and dots. So that you can take as. Yeah. How how many characters age you want? How many maximum years you want to live? Okay, two sufficient. Yeah. Double icon better than uh, yeah yeah so save check activate your domain press enter yeah come back ah uh, yeah now we are in data element screen save check activate your data element have you activated data element fine so good. so student name student as is also created now i'll say 
I will create one more field quickly. Student class. Get test. Yes. So, in which class is? Yes. I'll go to the data type, give this class will be what shall I give for the class? Character. Characters, some uh, some five characters I'll give. Otherwise, some 10 characters. Save. No. Check. Activate. Come back. Fine. So now we have created some two or three fields uh, like this in a table. Resume. After that, yes. the next step is go to the technical settings. There is something called technical settings. Go to the technical settings. So here there is something called a data class. In the data class, select app elbow. This is app l0 is for master data and transparent tables. Select this. Okay. Size category. Size category is something like now you have created a table. Why you have created a table? To store some data. So yeah. how much data you are going to store? Whether you are going to store some uh, 10,000 records or uh, one record or two records or how many records you are going to store. SAP is asking you because I told you right SAP will deal with the main database. SAP database is separate and main database is also separate. Now it need to reserve some place in main database. If you say I will store 1000 records it may allocate some 5 megabytes. If you say I will store some 1 lakh records then it may allocate some 1 GB space in the memory okay so you need to okay. tell the size category how many records you are going to store in this table so are you going to store these many records are 22,000 or 0 to 5,500 I will select this because this is a simple table which we we will not store more than some 10 to 12 records so select this this is enough size category is 0 click on save so, what are all the things we have given in a size in our technical settings? Data class and size APP category. Yeah. Come back, save it and come back. Now the key fields. You need to look into the key fields. Whatever the field first you have given M A N D T. Always put this as a key field. And then student ID is a key field. Key field means with this you can identify a student uniquely. So put a checkbox, key field and initiate. So put the two check mark, save it. Go here extras, click on extras, enhancement category, continue. So now SAP is asking you, see this is a table structure. Table structure means the fields in the table. Now what are the fields yeah. in the table? Student ID, student name, student age, student name class. Name. So these are all the fields in the table. So this is the structure of the table. So now SAP is asking, are you going to add one more field tomorrow in this table structure? If you are going to, maybe, if you are going to add it, you say, can be enhanced. If you are not going to add it, cannot be enhanced. Okay? So if you don't, if you are not able to say, you say not classified. I, I can't say now. Okay. So I will select this. Cannot be enhanced. You can select any one of this. Not a problem. Click on copy. Can be enhanced. The deep, deep structure is something. I will tell you this. Deep structure is something. A structure within the structure is called a deep structure. Okay. 
then that we'll discuss later so i'll now what are all the things we have done from the beginning if you remember see here when when we are creating a table this is the first screen we have seen we have given a delivery class a and a data browser uh, display maintenance allowed we came here to the fields we have given different different fields okay and then we went to the technical yeah. settings we have given these two and then we yeah. went to the extras enhancement category and we have opted for can be enhanced or cannot be enhanced whatever now save it check it so when you check if you observe the status bar you should get no inconsistencies found okay then if if no inconsistencies okay. found that means you have done everything well and click on activate okay so previously when you go to the mara okay. table here the content icon this is the content icon right this content icon is activated yeah. now this icon is not active for us yeah once the table yeah. is activated this icon is activated okay so fine okay now is there any data is there in this table no no data you observe the status bar what is it saying no table entry is found with the specified key there is no table entries if i if i am saying here execute it is saying no table entries bust first create some entries uh, how to create the entries yeah. in a table how to create some records inside the table go to utilities table contents create entries here i will say student as 1 2 3 4 student name some ranga student as 7 years student class second class student id must must be maximum 10 it not it's not um, uh, there is no compuls compulsory to give uh, all that all the 10 letters to fill see this is anyway this is what this is numeric right student id is a numeric yeah. so what is the default value yeah. for the numeric zeros so so if i don't give this how many zeros it will store 10 and zeros. 10 zeros because we have this is a numeric of length 10 so i will i am filling yeah. only four digits remaining six are yeah. zeros obvious zeros fine save this and if you click on reset this will be cleared so that you can enter another student record so i'll give here 1 2 4 5 some student id student name student is 6 years student class first class okay yeah. save, save this yeah. like that you can create different different uh, records you can create some 1000 uh, records or some any any number of records you can create now click on yeah. a contents and execute so your records were coming here right so this is how you can create your own table your own okay the uh, entries your own entries okay yeah i mean dt i will tell you because uh, this is uh, right now um if i tell you you will get confused so i won't tell you right now just uh, as of now blindly give the ma and dt as the first field but i will tell you what is the use okay. of ma and dt ma and dt is called a client okay client is something like when okay. we are logging in see when you are logging in you are filling the client number right see here 800 you are giving yeah so that 800 is storing here in the ma and dt see 800 okay. so as of now yeah. i can tell you yeah. that but more details i'll give you uh, in the next classes so what okay. will happen so see this is the table structure right this is a table yeah. structure this table structure if you say tomorrow if i get the login for 810 i will have a user id and password for a client 810 say for example okay 
so then what will happen this table okay. structure is client independent that means whatever the table structure you are giving here that means what i can say where is the table structure here yeah? yeah this one so whatever the table structure m a n d t student id student name student age all together is called table structure this can be visible yeah. this can be visible in 810 also if i log in in 810 with some okay. user id and password table structure is visible in okay. 8 if you create in 800 that will be visible in 8 810 also so table structure is client independent so if you create a table structure in one okay. client it will be visible in another client so it is client independent but table data is client dependent say for example this is a table data tomorrow if i log into 810 okay. if i log into 810 their their student id 1 2 3 4 One to four five. These IDs won't be there. Table data is yeah. client dependent, so that is why don't confuse with this. I'll come to this later. Okay. So as of now, you just okay. practice with MNDT. So what what you need to do is for the for the tomorrow's class, create a table. Okay. So the table uh, okay. name see uh, the table name you can take any table. Say for example, one one guy can take a bank, Jet Bank. Uh, if Jet Bank is already okay. existing, you take Jet Bank one, or Jet Bank two, or something. If table is already existing, you take another name. So in the bank okay. table, you can okay. give in the bank table you can give the bank uh, bank account because account number is a unique thing, right? Account holder name, amount, okay. uh, and some some other fields uh, like address or branch. so those kind of fields you can declare you create a table and maintain some entries who will create a bank table okay so uh, javez i will create Jav- javez is going to create a bank table and vinod vinod you create a employee table yeah. employee table okay so employee okay. means okay. you you the table name will be jet employee employee id yeah employee id employee, employee ID. name employee name organization number of years of experience so these kind of things you can put some details Okay. Okay. Some, okay, four, some four or okay. five fields, and uh, uh, Chetan Chetan will create a table of Z uh, <coughs> department. Okay. So take a supermarket. Okay. So in in a supermarket, uh, different different departments are there. Department ID. So you will give department ID one two three four. And department name, sales department, billing, uh, customer care department. Otherwise, uh, some uh, college ah uh, okay college departments you create college departments so different departments in um, engineering departments you want to take so yeah you can take some csc it triple e ec and uh, number of students in each department and then yeah of course you can take the college name also okay and address of the college okay. these fields you can take okay sir so, okay so yeah so some supermarket example so like that when when you are coming to the class tomorrow be thorough with creating the table and uh, you should be able to know how to create a table how to create entries in the table fine yes sir first screen uh, what we have to give the command sir one moment uh, yeah yeah first screen you need to give this this delivery class as a data browser display maintenance allowed okay yeah, yeah how to go to, uh, how to go to this it will come automatically okay. otherwise see see for example you will get this as a first screen see you go to the sc11 transaction yeah sc11 give the yeah you, give your table name click on yeah. create while creating if it is saying that in the status bar if it is saying it, it, the table name is already existing you change the table name one two you can put some some name and click on create okay, okay? so okay. click on create when you create what will happen it will come to this screen it will automatically come to this screen yeah. yes sir so you give the delivery class and data browser okay yeah, yeah. so still if yeah. you are getting some doubts okay your session is already yes, recorded so your recording session you can hear once again okay you can listen to this okay, okay.